No matter where the location in the world, waterways are perhaps the most difficult environment to secure. Saltwater and brackish water reflect radar energy as if it is a sea of metal. Fresh water is less reflective, but it is still visible by radar. So when water is disturbed, it is like trying to see a boat that is moving in front of the sun. DMT radar systems employ pulse Doppler technology. The pulsing of radio waves enables the radar to accurately measure range, and Doppler processing allows the radar to see all speeds very precisely. We use these characteristics to counter the effects of the environment. So in our example, Doppler processing is like putting on polarized sunglasses. Now, you can see the boat despite the sun. Other factors in waterway security are the vegetation that grows along the banks of the waterways and weather. Ranking their effects to radar, trees are the worst, followed by mangroves, then tall grass and other shrubs. For intruders to enter our waterways, they must have some speed that is greater than the flow of water. So we can use Doppler differences to detect these intruders. What about the boats that move near the banks of the waterways? or in narrow waterways lined with dense foliage. Will we still be able to detect them? All vegetation sways back and forth in the wind. Due to the size of trees and the volume of mangroves and grasses, these can appear as large as boats or even buildings to traditional radar. Their signatures will be even larger during a rainstorm and for some time after it ends. If a boat enters the waterway, they may become indistinguishable from the vegetation for traditional radar. Doppler radar can measure not only the speeds of all objects present, it can also determine if the objects are moving toward or away from the radar. So for Doppler radar, trees, mangroves, and grasses have low speeds centered around zero kilometers per hour. And even during high winds, these speeds of the vegetation measured by the DMT radar is less than the slowest speeds of boats. So detection is still possible even in the denses of foliage. DMT radars are also designed to filter out much of the wildlife present along the waterways for much the same reason. In ports and harbors, man-made structures such as cranes must be filtered out. Doppler processing allows this to be distinguished from boats on the water people, and vehicles on the land. Now let's find out more about DMT radars and how they work. Although all DMT products will work over land and sea, there are four primary radars marketed for waterway applications. The radars listed here have increasing range from left to right, with the IDAR being the shortest range radar and the Spearfish being the longest. The IDAR is the number one selling waterside security radar sold by DMT. The Black Marlin is the newest of DMT radars and the most versatile. It has become the most popular for drone detection radar in the world. The XRDS is the second best selling radar for DMT and is capable of very long range drone detection. The Spearfish is used for coastal surveillance and oil platform security. It is the most advanced of all the radars and is capable of detecting oil slicks. This map shows those waterway installations that may be publicized. They include systems in the cold climate of Norway with its rough and sometimes frozen waters, to the very shallow waters inside shoals on the Red Sea in Saudi Arabia, to the crashing waves on the shores of Perth, to the lightning capital of the world, Tampa, and to the swamps of Louisiana. Every conceivable type of waterside environment has been seen by DMT radars. This experience has led DMT to countless innovations in radar algorithms and technologies. Examples of the environments include Port of Texas City. The waterway has a long, narrow peninsula on one side and grassy island on the other. The radars secure the port property and the oil and chemical container ships that use it. DMT radars protect the waterway along the Delaware River. It is lined by dense tree and other vegetation on one side of the river and heavy commerce on the other. A major bridge is protected as well as parts of the Philadelphia airport and several refineries. This radar survived Hurricane Sandy and has remained operational throughout. Port Tampa Bay is the most diverse of locations of any DMT installation. Lightning and abrupt storms plague the area, and the seven radars installed here all worked continuously through Hurricane Irma. 
This port has very narrow channels lined with trees and tall grass, channels lined with heavy industry and wide open spaces. On the eastern shore of the bay, the water is shallow and the banks have dense mangrove and grass. The radar detects and tracks kayaks, fast-moving fishing boats, tugs, cruise ships, container ships, oil tankers, and aircraft. The port of Morgan City is a river port. Two DMT radars are installed here. When it rains, the waters swell rapidly and vegetation floats in freely down the river. With the exception of a small amount of dock area, the majority of the banks are tree-lined. Port Frashan was built in reclaimed swamps and shallow water. It often floods and is surrounded by canals, streams, swamp, tall grasses, and brush that grows several meters high. The radars at this port have continued to operate through many severe storms and several hurricanes. Installed more than five years ago, these radars point cameras at every boat on the water. The yellow boat shapes represent boats with AIS receivers, and the blue boats represent police boats. Remove the radar cover, which is known as the radome, and you will see a rotating head in the radar. All hardware in the IDAR is 100% field replaceable and has greater than a four year mean time between failure. DMT radars, like the IDAR, are the only radars sold on the market that are maintenance free. The Black Marlin is also maintenance free and very reliable. Unlike the IDAR, it comes with an elevation motor. This allows it to follow terrain and it permits the system to track drones as well. It has a higher transmit power so it is longer range than the IDAR. The maintenance-free XRDS is not only popular for ports in open water, it is also popular as a long-range drone detection system. It can be purchased with or without an elevation motor. This radar is designed as a coastal surveillance radar and for oil platform protection. It too is maintenance-free. It is the only waterside security radar with dual polarization, which enables it to see through blinding rain see oil slicks, and see minute objects at great distances. How do DMT radars work over land and water? This movie shows the interworkings of a DMT Doppler radar. This graph can be pulled in administrator mode and is often used in the characterization of objects. This radar is detecting a walking human. The left of the plot is all speeds going away from the radar, and the right of the plot shows all speeds coming towards the radar. Vegetation of all kinds appears in the center of the plot and is separated from walking humans, boats, cars, or any other intruder types. It is an effective tool in eliminating all environment generated radar reflections and weather. DMT radars can image the surroundings. To the right is a DMT radar image of all objects moving three miles per hour and less like water and vegetation. The DMT Remote Client Software, or DRC, imports maths to display intruder track positions. It controls, monitors, and records radars, cameras, automatic identification system, blue force tracker, and unattended ground sensors. It runs on Windows 7, 8, or 10, and monitors up to 24 DMT radars, as well as other manufacturers' radars. It also monitors cameras and is the lowest cost software solution in the market. This displays the typical command station screen. In the upper left hand corner of the screen is a satellite image of a narrow waterway where a radar is located at the point. In the upper right hand part of the screen you can see infrared images from a camera of a ship that is being tracked. Once the radar detects an intruder, the cameras are automatically pointed at the object. This is called saluted queue. The bottom left corner shows the radar control. It is a line plot to demonstrate signal magnitude versus range as the radar sweeps. The line plot demonstrates a spike at 900 meters. This indicates where the object, or the ship in this case, is being tracked. The pointer screen gives you the latitude and longitude as you mouse over the map display. The web service panel broadcasts the radar information to third-party applications such as Priority 5's TAX, Command Bridge, or browsers. Lastly, in the bottom right-hand panel, we see the track list. 
This is simply a list of the tracks located on the map. This screen shows the camera setup panel, the AIS panel, and the Blue Force tracking panel. This screen shows the DRC setup, which allows the user to personalize the user interface for each operator. The general setup panel is used to customize the audio alerts. Logged in through the DRC, we are able to see the Port of Tampa Command Center. There are six radars shown here with integrated cameras. The radars detect and track kayaks, fast-moving fishing boats, tugs, cruise ships, container ships, oil tankers, and aircraft. When an object is picked up by the radar, it will track it with a red dot. The dark lines on the map show the sweeps of the radars. Once the object is tracked for a few sweeps, the camera will lock on to its position. On the map, you can also see yellow boats and blue boats. The yellow boats have AIS transmitters, and blue boats represent those with an AIS transmitter and have been detected by the radar. Here is an example of the radar's ability to track maneuvering objects. The object being tracked is a boat making a U-turn in the port. On the DRC, we have zoomed in on the map to see more detail on this U-curve. These radars have the ability to detect airborne objects as shown here with a helicopter. Note that the helicopter's speed is 103 miles per hour. Here is a good example of a high-speed vessel track. Here we can see a boat going 61 miles per hour. On the map, we have clicked on the track of the boat. You can see the radar's ability to continuously track the boat and its location at high speeds. As you can see, DMT radars are ideal for ports and narrow waterway security. Thanks to our Doppler processing, we are able to filter out foliage, such as trees, mangroves, and grass. The capabilities of DMT Doppler processing allows for precise detection and even the most undeveloped of waterways.